What's up, you freaky, sexy bitches, and welcome once again to the Foot and Fist Sports Network. Today, we're going to go ahead and talk about the Ultimate Fighter 23 finale, Joanna Jendrzejczyk versus Claudia Gadelia. I have no idea how to, I mean, I know how to pronounce the name, but I just can't pronounce it. So, you know, whatever. Uh, let's just go ahead and call her Joanna Champion and be done with it. So, the first thing I want to say about this card is I was very pleasantly surprised when I looked at it. I have to be honest, I wasn't paying attention to it at all until I decided to make this video all because of the fact that tough cards are always pretty shit. They always have a lot of very low-level fighters who are just there to try to earn themselves a spot in the UFC. Uh, and usually I don't watch them. I only watch the main event. However, looking at this card, there are a lot of good fighters on here. We have John Moraga. We have Gray Maynard, who isn't all that great right lately, but he is still a big name. We have Ross Pearson versus Will Brooks, which is going to be a very good fight. And, of course, we have Joanna Champion versus Claudia Gadelia. So I'm going to go ahead and just go over these fights, not really following a specific order because there are a lot of fighters on here who's, who I don't really have know a lot about, so I don't feel like I have enough experience watching them to be able to give a valid opinion and really to be able to defend myself and and represent my opinion well. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with John Moraga versus Mateus Nicolau Pereira. So I think Moraga is just going to be too tough. He's had too much experience against very high-level competition. And I think he's probably going to get a second or third round knockout. It's going to be an inter entertaining fight because these small guys are always so fast and they have so much technical ability. It's, gonna, it's always going to be an entertaining fight if you're a guy who doesn't have a problem watching the smaller guys. You know, if you're one of those, you know, oh, only big motherfuckers enjoy me. I don't know why he's a New Yorker, but whatever. If you're not, if you're one of those guys, then fuck you, don't enjoy it, but I love these type of fights, and I think that it's going to be a very entertaining fight, but John Moraga is going to go out there and get the win. Next up, we have the Bully Gray Maynard versus Fernando Bruno. No, I don't know anything about Fernando Bruno. I'll be honest with you guys, and I haven't had time to do the research on him. Um, but I do know that Gray Maynard is on a bit of a slump lately. He's, well, a bit of a slump is to call it lightly, basically. He has been looking awful, but if I'm not mistaken, his last fight was actually the Nate Diaz fight, where he got absolutely destroyed. Um, so yeah, overall, I don't know much, enough about this Bruno guy to say, but I don't, I don't look forward to seeing this fight. That's basically all I'm going to say is, I don't know who's going to win. I think Maynard has probably the more experience against tougher guys, but he has taken a lot of beatings lately, especially after that Nate Diaz fight. I Honestly, I would hope that he would retire soon. I don't want to see this guy take any more brain damage. He's just, he's taken a lot of beatings out there, especially, you know, between the Nate Diaz fight and the Frank and the Frankie Edgar fights. Those were some brutal, brutal fights for him, and uh, I hope to see him retire soon because his brain does not seem to be in top shape, and that's all I'm going to say about it. You know, much respect to the guy's tough, but you got to get out, you got to get out when your brain still works, son. Next up, we have Ross Pearson versus Will Brooks. Now, Will Brooks, much like uh, Eddie Alvarez, is one of those guys who I haven't quite seen a lot of because of the Bellator days. You know, I live in Italy, so it's hard to see Bellator unless you go online and find it. And I'm sure you can find him somewhere, but it's just, you know, a lot of times I don't feel like looking for it, to be quite honest. And I really do judge people on based on what they do in the UFC. You know, winning in, in Bellator is all good and all, but until you do it on the biggest stage, then it's hard to take you that seriously. Eddie Alvarez, you saw what happened. He came in. His first fight was against Donald Cerrone. Sure, there were octagon jitters and stuff like that, but he still had a hard time. Uh, he has looked looked very good ever since. But we'll see what Will Brooks can do. He doesn't... I mean, is, can he be a, a, an Eddie Alvarez type guy who can come from Bellator and go out there and in a few fights get him a title shot? I guess we'll see. I think Ross Pearson is the perfect... The perfect test for him, to be honest, you know, because Ross Pearson isn't one of the top guys in the division. I think he's, what, top 10 at this point? So he's 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 really good, but he isn't quite elite level, you know? So I think this is a good test for Bill Brooks, uh, who has a 17-1 record. So if he can, excuse me, if he can beat Ross Pearson, then there's no doubt that he is going to have, you know, he's going to be one of those guys who's eventually going to get himself into title contention. But the lightweight, the lightweight, bleh, excuse me, the lightweight division is a very tough division. There are so many top-level fighters, and uh, there's just it's not going to be easy for him. But Ross Pearson is a good test. I don't really know who to go with this one. I think Will Brooks probably will go out there and get the get the win. I'm actually going to go with a decision because Ross Pearson is a very tough guy, but he does get hit. He does get hit a lot. You know, I like him, but I don't. I don't usually pick him in fights. I think I've picked quite a few fights where I expected him to lose and I was right about that. Uh, in particular, I remember the Ali Uquinta fight. That was a that was a good one. I think it was in Australia. 
So I think Wood Brooks is going to win this fight, but it, I wouldn't be surprised also to see Ross Pearson win because he has really slick boxing. He's got a bit, he's got a lot of power, and uh, overall I think it's going to be a pretty good fight. So keep an eye on on, on this one to be fight of the night. Last and definitely not not least, we have Joanna Champion versus Claudia Gadelia. Their first fight was legendary for women's fighting. You know, it was very very close, and there was a, it was very controversial as well because a lot of people think that Gadelia actually won that fight. Uh, however, I think that Joanna has improved. Big time ever since that fight. Um, and I think it's going to be a very, very, very entertaining one. Just because both girls are so goddamn good for their, you know, for their weight class anyway. And for their, for their, uh, for the fact that they're female fighters. But overall, they are the two elite women fighters I think I've ever seen. I would say that they're probably, they're without a doubt more technically solid than, uh, than Misha Tate or Ronda Rousey. Holly Holm, based on her boxing credentials, you know, she's amazing at striking too, so she could probably, you know, go head-to-head with Joanna when it comes to pure technical. I'm not saying that if they fought that that either one of them would beat the other. I'm just saying that when it comes to technique, I would say they're probably at the very similar level. However, Joanna does have those devastating kicks, although, <laughs> fuck it, you know, Holly Holm has a devastating left high kick, so who the fuck knows. Overall, I think there's going to be one hell of a fight. I do have Joanna going out there and winning it because she is just so nasty. She is just such a fucking mean woman when it comes to the fighting, you know. And we saw how she was in The Ultimate Fighter. I didn't see a lot of the episodes. I didn't see any of the episodes, actually. All I saw were the clips that the UFC put on YouTube. But she does seem like a very mean woman when it comes to, you know, the people that she doesn't like. So I think this is going to be a very, very dirty fight. Now, I'm not saying, like, I post stuff like that, but there's going to be a lot of elbows. There's going to be a lot of knees. I think it's going to be a lot of Muay Thai clinching. And just overall, it's going to be one hell of a fight. I think Joanna's going to win, but Claudia Cadilla, I wouldn't be surprised in the least to see her walk away with the belt as well, just considering how close their first fight was. And I think it's going to be an amazing fight. This one, if it's going to be between this one and the Will Brooks Ross Pearson fight to see who's going to be fight of the night. Uh, I expect fireworks, to be honest. And considering the fact that these are 115 pound women, it's not likely that this is going to end early on or, or be an early stoppage. I think it's going to be a decision or maybe even a late stoppage, but it's going to be one hell of a brawl between these two dirty bitches. And I say that with the utmost respect. Utmost respect. When I say bitches, I don't mean in a disrespectful way. I mean it like just tough women, you know? I, I'm sure that they wouldn't take offense to that. But anyway, whatever. Joe Rogan says it all the time, so why can't I try to say it, right? So, uh, yeah, that's that's the end of the video. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Please let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to win, especially the main event. I love this fight. I want to know if you love it as well. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Please stick around for UFC 200 predictions, which will be coming out soon after this. So thanks for watching once again. I will see you next time. Stay safe, you sexy bitches.